Rental properties are damaged by tenants, law enforcement, or intruders. Who's responsible, the owner or the tenant? WNCT Zora Stevenson went seeking the answer to that question. It's just an expense associated with the business, and, you know, it's this discussion with the territory. With any rental property, damages are inevitable. From scuffs on the wall to carpet stains to bent blinds, things happen. But who is responsible for the repairs? We can charge for things that we consider to be damages like holes in the wall, torn carpet, Kool-Aid stains in carpet, missing doors. Longtime property manager Rocky Russell says the Real Estate Commission does not allow owners to charge tenants for ordinary wear and tear, but the definition of wear and tear is decided on a case-by-case -case basis. An example of ordinary wear and tear would be scuffs on walls. Um, in this case, it's expected that the tenant would mark up walls to, to a minor degree. If law enforcement causes damages due to criminal activity on the property, things can get even more complicated. In scenarios like last week where um, the whole drug task force had to go into a residence, um, there was a lot of drugs, a lot of criminal activity found to be going on there, um, then it would kind of be up to the people that were occupying it that were committing the criminal activity to reimburse um, for that damage. Assistant District Attorney Caroline Lawler says when law enforcement is involved, the responsibility for the damages differ in each situation. In some cases um, where there's kind of an innocent property owner, um, there's statutes that provide procedures for either the owners or the lien holders to go about getting reimbursed. Whatever the circumstances, Russell says property damage is something he deals with on a daily basis. In Greenville, Zora Stevenson, 9 on your side.